Hello, welcome, good evening to one and all. My name is Surendra Bora. I am an entrepreneur by profession and I am a business coach. I welcome you all to this talk series called Entrepreneur Dialogues with talking with the entrepreneurs, the directors, the CEOs and the top brands. Exciting, isn't it? Yes absolutely once again a warm welcome to everyone to watch the show or the talk series with the entrepreneurs that is one word ladies and gentlemen which has really bothered for us during this lockdown i am sure one word is corona but there is one more word which has really affected us which is called travel am i right yes Traveling is something which has become a bottleneck for everyone. I'm sure you all will agree with me. And moving forward, we have here one of our traveling experts who is going to showcase us and tell us how the traveling is going to be there post COVID. It is, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure. Our guest tonight is an absolutely an amazing entrepreneur, a complete, a who won a Game Changer Award in the 2019, has traveled more than 100 plus countries himself. He is going to have, we are going to have a candid chat with him. So let's welcome him. And not only that, he's currently the chairman of Outbound Tour Operations of Association of India and many more prestigious awards. And off late, he has won, he has been conferred with from Nevada Tourism Award, where he's been as the ambassador of the city. It's absolutely a delight and honor to have Mr. Manish Kriplani among us from Baywatch Travels, Private Limited. Hello, Manish Bhai. A warm welcome to you. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for the lovely introduction. Uh, it feels nice to hear such beautiful things. And uh, just one small correction for Nevada. I'm comforted yeah. in Nevada hero for the Nevada Tourism Board. Wow. Yes. Um, just in case, I just want to get that that thing. Yeah, Nevada hero. Yeah. So, Absolutely. Um, yeah. I mean, thank you. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. You are a hero, Manish Bhai, because uh, I just want to ask you before. See, we are going to have you have a question answer candid chat over here. But before that, I want to ask you how three months you could not travel anywhere. How, were, how was it feeling being locked inside? Because a person who keeps on traveling, 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 how was it for you to be there? I mean, frankly, uh, I would say that, uh, frankly, I would, uh, I have to admit that it has been an amazing three months for me, you know, because the last so many years traveling in and out, in and out, I'm, I'm telling you, there have been times when, uh, I land, my driver brings the next bag and I'm off in the next flight, you know. So things have been uh, really hectic the last many years. But uh, yeah, these three months have been amazing. The first uh, uh, month I had withdrawal symptoms. I used to pack my bag and unpack it, you know, just to feel good. But uh, yes, I mean, uh, I've enjoyed the last three months. I've learned a lot and um, I'm actually fully geared up to, you know, start uh, life post covid wow that's fantastic so i'm going to just uh, quickly shoot some questions to you uh, so uh, all you have to do is answer the, i think one question manish bhai which has been constantly there not with me i'm sure with many of us uh, to understand mm -hmm. will traveling be possible in this year though i i'm sure don't feel this like an astrologic prediction anything like that but i'm sure you're a traveling expert so you can uh, shower some light on this yes okay so so now you're you're asking a travel expert or a destination manager whether people will travel or whether travel is possible okay so to start with i will say yes of course it is possible okay one, it is one, possible. One thing, it will it is happen. not about it's not marketing here. You have to be because people are watching. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. No, no, no. I mean, I'm going to be very frank. It doesn't matter. But uh, yes, I mean, uh, 
uh, uh, people will travel. It is only about time, you know, because uh, as as we all know that. Um, but before I before I go into answering your question, I just want to share some numbers with you, okay? So that you know what kind of uh, business you're addressing here. And uh, I mean, it feels proud to talk about my business, okay? Uh, not my business, I'm talking about the travel industry. So just for your information, uh, every third person in the world is from the hospitality business. Whether it is a travel agent, airline, hotel, resorts, cars, crews, anything. So every third person is in this business. From India, we have we have spent more than 1,65,000 crores of money. Our Indians have spent so much money to go abroad. Okay. We are the third largest industry. We give 9% of our 9% our of the GDP is contributed by travel industry. So you can in understand what kind of huge industry this is. Okay. So this is not going to stop so easily. No Corona or no Darona is going to be a speed breaker. But yes, we will have to change few things, which uh, I'm all of us are in the last three months have been making a lot of uh, efforts to change. Uh, we have, uh, you know, which I will tell you, which uh, in the course of this uh, interview, I will tell you what is happening, what are the changes. But uh, yes, to answer your question, travel will be possible. But it will happen in stages, just like our PM has done lockdown one, two, three, four, and now unlock one, two, three, four. There would be travel one, two, three, four, and you know, so on. So yes, I mean, uh, people are everybody I know are sitting at the edge of their seat. They call me and say, "Listen, Manish, I need to go. I need to travel. Kahan jao? I said, "Hold on for some time. Okay, your health is important to me. You relax. We will. I will let you know when things are all right. So." Yes, I, I mean, there are people just waiting to travel uh, when things are right. I'm telling you, this is going to be, uh, you know, the people are just going to this industry is going to bounce back like never before. Wow, that's amazing information uh, uh, because a lot of people I'm sure after hearing this will be more a little more relaxed now. So my next question to you is Manish Bhai, how does travel and tourism look like post COVID? The entire um, in as I said, yes, as I said earlier, uh, first thing I must tell that we are among the luckiest generation, you and me and everybody else, to witness this world pre-COVID and post-COVID. You know, we have seen two different worlds in one lifetime. I mean, I think uh, uh, that is something that I think uh, uh, not many generations would be so happy, lucky to see, you know. Because things are going to be so different after post-COVID, people will not recognize. They would, you know, when we look back at our memories in Facebook and other places, we will say, Aisa hota tha kya? you know, <laughs> did we do all this? So things are, yes, going to change, you know. And um, uh, they, uh, to start with, you know, there would be two kinds of uh, people who travel. One would be the travelers, okay, who would travel to attend a meeting or uh, you know just to go somewhere for some reason to attend to some work another would be tourist where they go for tourism now maybe that tourism part would not take off so easily it would take time but yes it is going to uh, you know go slowly and uh, pick up as we move forward and uh, what what i would also say that is uh, we all, okay, all of us have actually hit this pause button. Okay, we all have hit this pause button. We all have hit this reset button. Okay, where we are having getting time to, uh, uh, you know, change the way things are going to be uh, post COVID. And, uh, uh, you know, I think everybody, whoever I'm talking to, are excited to, you know, they all dreaming like, you know, how is it going to be? And, Every airline, every hotels have their own SOPs that they're going to follow, you know, which uh, which again, I will tell you as we move forward. And uh, I've in this last three months, I've heard, understood, learned a new term called revenge tourism. Oh, okay. revenge tourism. What what you mean by that is, yeah, as I revenge tourism, mein, ki, uh, 
uh, uh, people have been sitting at home for so many months okay they mm-hmm. have that it not they have that josh they have that you know now just hold on you know let this thing get over you see how much i travel you know <laughs> so they all are sitting at the edge of the seat like a revenge badla they want badla they want to travel. so that is going to that there are a lot of people just waiting to take this step and uh, i mean that is what is going to happen uh, as soon as this covid is over um, you know uh, it will take time because even when this uh, uh, vaccination comes out you know it's it's not going to be easy because uh, i mean who's going to produce 14 million 14 billion vaccination because that kind of doses you need so you know in spite of that i think very slowly things will open up uh, just for your information uh, there are already few countries opened i mean like new zealand is already open for tourism oh, they have okay. this uh, you know bubble tourism they call where australia and new zealand are already traveling between one uh, these two countries we have you some european uh, countries uh, that have opened up so pe- people have already opened for business sri lanka is op- they are opening in a short while they already getting ready they have few norms and conditions that you need to follow and uh, you know they also getting ready for business maldives is getting ready for business so people are all getting ready it's just that for example in for sri lanka uh, i mean you know once you go there you will have to take uh you know your negative certificate certificate i mean that is going to be a norm everywhere now you know where you should take your certification and you show them that you are negative and they may do a small test in the airport also so these kind of things will happen there would be travel is not going to be comfortable but yes it will be very safe and hygienic that i can assure you wow i mean people if they could con- with the way you know the hygiene and sanitation is uh, is been followed that 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 was actually going to be my next question is what is is that going to be the traveling etiquettes for a new normal moving forward because people are definitely as you said the revenge tourism uh, uh, lots of this josh is going to be there to travel but in that josh i'm sure a lot of people are going to miss many things yeah. but i think traveling etiquette is something is that going to be there uh, all you have to share information with us yes manish bhai see the thing is uh, uh, yes so now see the travel etiquettes again is in our hands okay every hotel every airport have very clearly stated the sops that passengers have to follow now if they don't follow nobody can help them so you know so i would urge people who are going to travel to please follow the sops laid by the hotels by the airport so that you all remain safe your friends remain safe and the people around you remain safe just to give you an example of the sops that uh, you know airlines would be uh, following would be you know uh, uh, simple things like um, your bags would be sanitized there is going to be absolutely contactless there is not going to be boarding cards anymore everything is going to be on your phone there is not going to be that stamping which they used to hassle us so much you know go back and forth for the stamp on the boarding card and things like that you know so stamps would be out um the frisking would be out you know where uh, uh, naturally they wouldn't want to frisk you that the way they used to earlier uh a uh, frequent uh, you know uh, like when you're inside the aircraft everybody having has their own gear they have their own kits to follow they give earlier they used to give a welcome drink now they probably give you a mask you know and gloves and uh, shields so uh, uh, you know um, these are the few etiquettes that the uh, airlines will follow uh, will will sops that they have laid down and it depends on us how we follow it now it, when it comes to hotels you know uh, we all know now uh, uh, according to statistics from the minute you enter the hotel right up to the room there are roughly about 150 to 170 touch points that is the number of things you touch you know so these hotels are aware of it okay they have um, you know audits audits done by uh, you know companies that uh, tell them uh, where they have to touch and what what happens so they are taking care of that but again whether we follow them like for example uh, 
uh, I'm, I'm not sure, but it seems that the hotels, the, the reception when earlier we used to check in, we go there, we have somebody smiling, sir, do this, do that, all that is going to disappear. Oh, you know, okay. it could be the minute you enter, I mean, the, the, the apps and all that are getting ready, but yeah, the minute you enter, you'll get a, a prompt on your phone, you'll get your booking number on your phone, you may get your key card also on your phone. That's interesting. You know, where uh, you just then maybe the hostess will come talk to you and this, uh, yeah, no, no, it is going to be very, it is like, it's going to be so futuristic. You will, you will think you're part of a movie. That's what I said, you know. We are so lucky that in a matter of one year, not lucky, but uh, I think we are, uh, 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 you know, there to see two different worlds, which it were, which we would have seen in actually 2050, you know, okay. which we are seeing in one year, where everything is contactless, you know, and, and even in the lifts, everything is going to be Alexa enabled, not Alexa, it could be anything. It could be, you know, take me to fourth floor or sixth floor because they don't want you to touch. But again, it is going to take a long time for hotels to develop that system, deploy that kind of uh, resources, you know, uh, in terms of uh, the machines and everything else. So, but yes, down the line, they would be having, they would do things to make sure things are contactless and you'll reach your rooms instead of 150 touch points, maybe 50 touch points, you know. So that is going to be their... Uh, their motive like even when you sit in the when you get into the lifts they, they they'll probably have a lift usually as 18 people they probably say only four people can enter at a time all four have to be on four different uh, the sides of the lifts you know okay. they would have whoever enters the lift first he has to press all the buttons or whatever so there are those kind of uh, uh, sops that are going to come it is going to be interesting uh, you know, and uh, uh, the client, the guest should realize that it is for our health and, uh, you know, for our hygiene. So I just hope, uh, you know, these kind of etiquettes and SOPs are followed so that uh, we can enjoy, start traveling again, you know, and get back to normal, bounce back. Excellent. I think uh, uh, I'm sure the people are watching now and even later, uh, uh, they can value this information. And it's coming from a traveling expert who has been there uh, more than 100 plus countries. He has traveled and is giving his uh, in hand experience over here and 25 plus years experience in this uh, hospitality industry. Thank you, Manish. Bhai. Now, again, coming back to this, will there be a change? in the way people that is as you said that a lot of uh, futuristic things are coming up yeah and a lot of safety norms is going to be there yes a lot of online sites are available yeah. lots of personalized so you're yes there is going to be a difference like for example if i have to book i am going to look whether which hotel is safety first follows all the safety norms let me book that yeah. hotel a like, lot of things are going to change right so can you just uh, share that uh, what, what is the yes forward Absolutely. I mean, things are going to change a lot, okay, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, the way you do bookings. The thing is, you know, earlier people had two different options. One is uh, you go book online, you self-service, you know, go do your own finding, do your own uh, booking and feel happy about it. And the second one would be come to experts like us, sit across, understand the situation, understand the destination and uh, make a booking. I personally feel that that is going to change big time because now what people will want is not the price. They're not going to care about the price. They care about the safety. They care about their well-being when they, uh, they travel. So what is most crucial in getting the booking would be the knowledge that a travel partner has and what he can give to his guests. You know, they come to, they come to us asking us, listen, if I'm going here, is it safe? What kind of SOR are, are, are is, is the how far is the room from the lifts? Uh, how big is the breakfast uh, lounge? How is the breakfast served? So there are so many uh, intricate small questions that, that we as travel agents, travel partners, will equip ourselves. Like if I you know uh, if I have to sell something, somebody comes to me and I'm planning a holiday. I am going to offer them something that I'm very confident about. 
I would have True. spoken to the hotel. I would have done a Zoom meeting with them. I would have actually uh, online done the complete inspection, which I would have done personally when I'm there. You know, I've already done a few Zoom meetings with hotels where uh, I actually walked through the whole hotel. You know, they've showed me the changes that they've done. They've showed me how they're changing, uh, how they're making changes in the room. So all that is we are making notes. We are understanding how, how it's going to be done. So I can confidently offer my clients, listen, go ahead. This hotel is fine. This is COVID certified. They are, they are following rules and regulations. You know, so those kind of things. So I think people will definitely now change their ways of booking. They would want a knowledge partner you know, to share and give them information about the destination that they're going to rather than going online and saving 100 rupees. You know, that is not going to happen at all. So right. I think that is one change uh, uh, that is going to be. Second, what I see is, uh, um, uh, you know, the websites that we see is going to get more uh, robust. OK, it is going to like, for example, there you can like in our website, we're going to probably integrate where you can walk through the hotel a 360 degrees view of all the rooms of the reception you know so we as again travel partners are, are spending a last three months has not been easy but we are trying to integrate we're trying to a lot of things i have sat down and realized i've been doing this is that right and i've realized there are some things that are not right it took me some time to unlearn it you know, and learn the new ways. So Wonderful. we are trying to unlearn and learn because we are in a different uh, world, I feel now. After this pause, when things are all right, it's going to be a new world. So, uh, you know, we're going to have very fresh, robust uh, websites. And um, so, I mean, that that's the kind of change that I see that people would have, you know, where they need a knowledge partner rather than a travel partner who can give them correct and the uh, right information absolutely uh, uh, rightly said uh, manish bhai i think more than any other thing prevention is better than cure because right now people will be more on safety concerns than any other thing thank you uh, i think one uh, learning uh, from your lockdown one your biggest takeaway from this entire lockdown if you have have to say what okay. will that be what will that be biggest takeaway is there so many learnings i know i am very very sure what is the biggest takeaway okay. I think I have a lot of takeaways that I can share with you all. OK, uh, one thing is I want you all to know that this is a lockdown. It's not a knockdown. OK, so everything is going to be all right. We are going to bounce back. This is just a lockdown. It's not a knockdown. So uh, I think every business is going to bounce back. It, it only depends on how uh, uh, how fast we're going to move. And I would say it is going to be the survival of the quickest, not fittest. Oh, okay. wow. It's how fast you change. Yes, how fast you change, how fast you, uh, uh, you know, uh, sink into this new world is going to be, uh, I think, uh, your survival kit. And um, I, 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 I mean, when this whole, whole thing started, you know, I, I was thinking about, uh, you know, uh, uh, fishermen. Okay. I always knew it that, you know, these guys are having this lockdown regularly. Whenever it rains, they're sitting at home weeks together doing nothing. When there is a monsoon or when there is a cyclone or whatever. So you know what they do when it rains weeks after weeks after weeks, they don't go out fishing. You know what they do? They make their nets stronger. Wow. So that is exactly what I was doing. I was just making my net stronger in this uh, lockdown. And uh, I hope everybody else also made their nets uh, stronger you know unlearned a lot of things and learned a lot of things and uh, yes the uh, survival of the quickest is my mantra uh, we are going to be super quick you're going to see baywatch in different colors and different uh, charismas so uh, uh, yeah that that is uh, my mantra for very, post covid very nice uh, manish bhai i think that was a really nice uh, the survival of the quickest that was a great gem of learning uh, and final question to you, uh, what are the tips for people you will give? I know there are many, many, many. There is a checklist going to be there. 
from your side from all the travel entire mm -hmm. travel but some quick or uh, some tips which quickly if you can share so that everyone can get the benefits which they have to be careful while traveling okay tips i mean i i would uh, the tips i would say the same thing that they probably know but i don't mind saying it again because it is the well being it is for their well being and if uh, if i have to say and if it convinces even one person i'd be happy you know uh, i would say that uh, uh, for people who are going to who are going to travel uh, you know post this thing post uh, covid uh, i uh, you know i would say that first travel i mean if you all want to get that travel booth out of your head do a domestic travel you know go take us take your car take do a take a do a self drive go towards uh, kode uti bangalore or something to quench your holiday thirst okay i i think it's a good way to start and a good way to uh, end the lockdown so i would say maybe try to do that because i want i mean a holiday is something that everybody deserves so i do not want to deprive and i should i don't want you all to deprive yourselves or your families for a lovely holiday so start off with a nice nice self drive uh, uh, holiday to any of these uh, resorts who are adhering to uh, you know all the sops of covid certification you know uh, i mean uh, we are they are always there to help you choose that uh, naturally i would always request you to uh, you know make sure you always have your gloves you have your masks uh, your sanitizers in place more than your uh, you know your cameras or your uh, uh, what should i say your uh, uh, selfies i think you know your sanitizers and uh, um, a mask would be very important because you'd be meeting so many people who you don't know you don't know their history so it is very very important for you all to stay safe come back to your own homes and probably wait for the beautiful future which is coming up something that nobody has witnessed and trust me it is going to be uh, you know straight into the future it will be a 2020 2050 era which uh, we all would be lucky to witness everything contactless everything would be you know very different so uh, you know i urge you all to stay safe stay healthy stay happy that i think happiness is uh, is the key thing and uh, according to me i mean i should have said this earlier but uh, actually i have the vaccine okay and my vaccine is innovation i would suggest you all start innovating and thinking believe me with these positive vibes within your body you will be always safe healthy and with uh, you know as uh, highest immunity so that you can fight this covid uh, battle that we all are having uh, together excellent wow that was absolutely a positive feedback and positive uh, way of approach and how you have told that lockdown is a, a, a not a knockdown and how positively you actually you have taken us to a virtual tour safely yeah, to various destinations i'm really happy and thankful to you uh, manish manish bhai for joining us and uh, you can see here is www.baywatchtravels.com this is their website please log on to it they will give you some amazing uh, plans for that any destination you want to travel it's a uh, fantastic thank you once again manish bhai for joining us for this uh, talk series with the entrepreneurs and uh, enlightening the audience for about the travel and post covid how it is going to be there absolutely thank you and for thank you for sharing this positive energy at the end thank you thank you thank you so much for having me and uh, you know best wishes to you and all your viewers thank you so much thank you thank you all thank you so much for watching this uh, entrepreneur series uh, the talk series with the entrepreneurs with the directors we will definitely continue our journey and explore more and more with more brands thank you once again ladies and gentlemen for watching now and later thank you see you good night